Hi, hi, buddy. Uh, how would you characterize uh, John's start today? Well, uh, you know, probably a little bit uneven. I think that, you know, it got through, I thought, you know, good first inning. And then the, and they bunched the hits together uh, for the for the three run inning. Uh, you know, the three run homers, you know, at, at times can be a backbreaker, but it was early in the game. Gave up two more hits after that, but, you know, got the last out of the inning. And then from there, he settled in. You know, I think uh, he retired uh, a number of guys in a row. Then Peralta dumped a soft base hit in the left. He, you know, kept going and got some outs. Uh, got into the sixth leadoff guy. I think Peralta flew out. And then the uh, and then the walk to Van Meter, the walk to Ellis. Uh, I think the the walk to Ellis was a was a backbreaker uh, for sure. Both three two counts, uh, you know, some close misses. They you know they took uh, the borderline pitch uh, throughout those at bats, but uh, you know a walk's a walk. I don't I don't think he tired. Uh, I think his stuff was still good. He you know he just missed, uh, but you know he pitched into the six and a in a three left when the score was three to one. So a lot of times you win those games, uh, but he wasn't as sharp as we've seen him. Uh, over the entirety of the game, but there were, you know, there were, you know, stretches, especially after uh, he got, he got through the inning where they scored runs and he, you know, he kept us right there. You know, he held the fort pitch count got elevated because of the 30 pitch plus inning, but you know, that happens. I mean, uh, you know, he, he competed hard, uh, he battled and, uh, you know, it wasn't so much about John's performance, uh, Patrick, it was more about, uh, they're pitching against our offense. Uh, buddy, I was going to say, from my vantage point, um, I don't know how many curveballs John threw today, but it looked like it was a pretty good pitch for him today. Yeah. He had a lot of swings and misses on the curve. No doubt. I mean, I've, I've, one thing, and, you know, I'll share that with John, uh, you know, probably tomorrow. Uh, you know, the curveball was – you know, I thought legit today. You're right. There was some punch outs with it. Uh, good shape to it. Good, good spin. Uh, you know, the slider was good too. We, you know, he hung the one to, to bar show, but you know, he got his punch outs, uh, you know, you know, the walks there late came back to bite him, but you know, the fastball velocity was there. Uh, the curveball showed up and he threw it more, uh, which I liked it. I, com I, you know, commented to Dom on that, that the usage I thought was great. Uh, slider was good. So, you know, that's a good sign. I know that I think he gave up a hit to Ben Meter, uh, the, the inning that they scored the three runs on a changeup. But, you know, if John can get to that point where the, the curve is utilized more uh, and the changeup comes into play, uh, it's a very solid four pitch mix for a major league starting pitcher. And one more for me a housekeeping thing. Can you give us any sort of update on Tapia? Or is it pretty much the way yeah. it has been? Well, yeah, there's progress. You know, he ran today, uh, you know, out on the outfield. He made some turns. Uh, tomorrow in Chicago, he's going he's gonna to hit on the field. He's going to run the bases. Uh, so anytime you get uh, to running when you have a, in this case, a, you know, a foot and a toe injury, that's a good sign. So he's getting closer. Uh, I suspect there'll be a rehab uh, assignment for Tap to get him uh, you know, back in the swing of things and uh, under game conditions to see how the toe reacts. But uh, he's going to run tomorrow. He's going to run the bases. Uh, he's going to hit. Uh, he's done some outfield stuff. He's going to. He's been throwing. So he's progressing. Uh, no timetable, but it's getting closer. Great. Thank you, buddy. Yep. We'll go to Thomas. Go ahead, Thomas. Yeah, buddy, just getting back to John, um, the, the, the last four starts have been a few ruts in there, but as you said, kind of breaking things down, they're, they're good things to hang on to from this start and, and some of the others. Is that kind of the way you look at it rather than just numbers? You kind of look at, um, deconstruct each outing and see what went well for him? And, I, I think so, right. Yeah. I mean, uh, there's, 
you know, there's nights where, you know, we're going to win a game with a, with a start like that in this ballpark, right? If there's some, if there's some runs to be scored, uh, you know, you know, this is going to, this is going to look at, uh, you know, five and a third innings, like four run runs, five run runs, whatever it is, uh, you know, but it, it really isn't indicative of how he threw, uh, you know, the one big swing by Joe gave him the, the three, one lead, a uh, couple walks at the end, you know, sort of maybe, you know, dirtied up the pitching line a little bit, but the stuff was good. Uh, he kept us in the game through into the sixth. Uh, you know, we didn't, we didn't shut it down after that. That's, I mean, for me, that was, the, you know, that was the ball game. You know, they nicked all of our relievers uh, from, you know, from Gilbreth to Stevenson to Bowden to Almonte. You know, they nicked all those guys. And, uh, you know, we, we tried a little bit of a, a, a comeback there late, you know, but it did materialize. But, you know, I think it was more about uh, them nicking our bullpen and uh, us not scoring off their pitching. Yeah, offensively, what did you see? And also, what did you see from – their staff, because I think, you know, Gallon last night had a good start against you guys. You yeah, we didn't, we didn't swing the bats right, um, you know, today, you know, even even against Gallon. Well, Gallon's got good stuff. He's a good pitcher. I mean, you know, that can happen. Uh, today was a little bit of a mystery because uh, their guy was a little wild. I mean, he had, what, what, five walks and a hit by pitch, but he didn't give, he gave up just the one hit. Uh, you know, he, he changed speeds. He was around the zone. You know, we just couldn't solve, you know, the kid Smith came in at, at two good innings and we, you know, then he started to falter and, you know, we had a little momentum there. Uh, he, we just got the two runs out of that. Clifford uh, came in or Clark came in, you know, sort of stuff, uh, snuffed us out, uh, you know, and Clifford sort of weaved his way through the ninth with a, you know, 20 pitch plus ninth. But, you know, we just do, we didn't swing the bats great today. Yeah, um, and I guess uh, going on the road here, obviously we've talked about that probably ad nauseum. Do you look at this as kind of um, a road trip to try to write some things? We look at we look at every every game, Pat uh, Thomas. No matter where we are, uh, you know the expectation is to play a solid game, uh, to do everything we can to win. Uh, you know, play the game the right way, uh, and see where we are doesn't matter whether, you know, today's game, we felt the same way. Tomorrow, we're going to feel the same way about that. Uh, you know, we'll get on the plane here shortly, get to Chicago. We're going to come to the, you know, go to Wrigley Field tomorrow afternoon. Uh, like Tappy is going to run the bases. There's going to be a couple side sessions by doctors. Uh, we're going to do some early work uh, and we're going to prepare to play and, and uh, go over the Cubs, have a pre-series meeting and, and go compete. And the guys who are here, uh, you know, are wanting to perform from uh, our most veteran players, uh, Charlie Blackman and Shasheen, to our youngest players uh, who are trying to establish themselves as major league players. Doesn't change. Uh, the consistency of this game is what we're all about and, and getting after it to win games uh, each and every night. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Hey, John. Uh, I asked Buddy how to characterize your start today, and he used the word uneven. He liked your curveball a lot. He liked the fact that uh, after that second inning, uh, you really settled in. I'm, I'm curious of what you thought overall of your performance today. Uh, I only have maybe like one good thing to take from today. It just seemed bad all around from the get-go, and I just didn't feel good about my rhythm. I didn't feel good about my grip. I didn't feel good about my line. There were so many things that just fell off today. And it was, I knew it was going to be a battle, but yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of sick of battling, especially the last couple of starts. So it's just been a rough stretch, but um, just trying to stay positive. Did you like uh, the way that, that Dom was calling for the curve and the fact that you got quite a few swings and misses off it of today? I mean, if you're going to pull a positive out of the Today, I assume that would be one of them. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's a good pitch when used right. It was just too inconsistent today. There were four or five times where I threw it where it wasn't around the zone. It wasn't competitive. Okay, thanks, John. We'll go to Thomas. Thomas. 
Yeah, John, numbers wise, um, this has been kind of a little bit of a rush stretch to the last four starts. When do you kind of step back and you're able to evaluate, pull out positive, negative, whatever? And is it soon after this game for you? Yeah, it is. And I can I can tell what most of it is. It's just, I mean, basically a lack of demand. It's been I like uh delivery is kind of all over the place right now. It's not the same every time. So it's I'm um, getting different results and it's it's frustrating, like especially when you're trying to eliminate that and do the same thing every time. Uh it's it's very frustrating. But uh but yeah, it, it, there's there's some fixes to be made, and uh, I'm gonna do whatever I can to to, to, to get rid of all this of this mess. Uh, when was the last time you that your delivery got this um, out of out of touch, and how did you get it back? Um, earlier in the year, it was kind of it was kind of out of whack a little bit, but uh, you know, I I tried to be athletic as I could in, in my catch play and. Uh, a lot of mirror work. I still do a lot of mirror work, but um, you know, there's something. I think there's something I'm missing right now I, that could just maybe click and fix it all. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm striving to find that. Yeah, I think that uh, Marquez went through this at the beginning of the year. Obviously, this thing happens with pitchers. With you, is it a timing thing? You say you do mirror work. Is there something with um, even the stopwatch, or what is it that usually gets you right? Um, a lot of mirror work usually helps me out, but just being on the mound as many times as I can, I'm probably going to do a lot of dry reps this week and just try to sort everything out, at least get to where I'm going consistent pitch every time, not four or five different types of sliders, just one slider, one fastball, and uh, know where I'm going with it. And do you do two, even at this stage, would you do two bullpens or just um, one, or how would you do that? I'm probably going to mix in two this week. Thanks, John.